गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर क्लासेस ऑफ क्लास फोर एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो द होल वर्ल्ड एज वेल एज इंडिया इज अफेक्टेड बाय द डेडली कोरोना वायरस प्लीज फॉलो द सेफ्टी रूल्स सो दैट यू योर फैमिली एज वेल एज द सिटीजन्स ऑफ इंडिया आर नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय द वायरस एट द सेम टाइम एट द सेम टाइम इट्स नॉट अ हॉलीडे फॉर यू please pay attention to your studies so that when the school reopens we can study we can go fast along with the courses whatever the notes i am giving you please note it down in your computer copies so that when the school reopens i will correct your copies as quickly as possible now students of class 4 we are starting with chapter 1 class 4 computer first chapter is computer or storage and memory device now in that topic or in that chapter we first of all we should know what is the definition of data data is unprocessed facts and figures example name roll number marks so these are the examples of data next information process data is known as information example sum average now for now i'll explain these two terms in detail like suppose oh, like suppose in order to get the sum i require like three numbers i require i have to find the sum of like 3 plus 4 plus 2 the sum is sum is 9 now in this example so these are data that is unprocessed facts and figures now this 9 the answer what we are getting that is after we are adding these three numbers to get the final answer so this 9 is known as an infor mention now i think it is clear now i am coming to the next topic as memory so first of all we should know what is the definition of memory memory is a storage place where the data information is stored it is like an almira where we can store the data and information now this whole memory is divided into two parts we have internal or the primary memory external or secondary memory now first now i will define what is internal or primary memory where the data is stored temporarily its storage space is less example ram and rom next we come to external or the secondary memory where huge amount of data can be stored for future reference now the examples are hard disk which is present in our computer uh, in the cabinet cpu next example is cd dvd blu ray disc another is flash drive or commonly known as pen drive next is the memory card memory card refers to all those chips which we are using in our smartphone or in the digital camera to store the information next topic the difference between ram and rom ram and rom it is a part of internal memory or the primary memory now the difference between ram and rom is very very important every time in the semester exam or the or the unit or for your unit test it is very very important first of all first of all we should know the full form of ram ram stands for random access memory 
ROM stands for read only memory. Now three most important difference. First, it is a temporary memory. It is a permanent memory. Means, so it's the, the second is data is lost when computer is switched up. Data is not lost when computer is switched up. Means the moment we switch off, in this case, the moment we switch off the data, uh, switch off the computer, the data is lost forever. We cannot recover it. In case of here, so that data is present, like certain information which are stored in the chip, ROM chip, which are helpful in the booting as well as for the different functions of the computer, we cannot, we can, we cannot erase those information so it is permanent second third difference is read and write of data is possible means any kind of data whether it is read and write it is possible here in the third only read of data is possible it means that here in this case the user has a in this case the user has an interaction the user has an interaction with the device. Here, the user has no interaction with this hardware device. Secondary storage devices. Now, first I'll define what is secondary storage devices. Means those devices which can store huge amount of data for future reference. So, in these storage devices, 